But should I ask the question anyway? Or I shouldn't ask? Do you use any drug? No, no, not not medicine. No. I'm talking of drug, out narcotic. Should I ask? Huh? Not drugs, narcotic? What do you call it? Substance abuse, drugs, narcotics. Did I ask if you are depressed right now? Have I asked? No. I okay. I, are you presently depressed? Blood group. I will still get there. Not not group. Oh, I don't. I will not do blood group. No, no blood group here. <laughs> what country do you live in? Uh, this, when I say what country do you live in, I mean what country have you lived in the past 10 years? Yes, most, most of your life. What country have you lived in more than 10 years? The last 10 years, not the early 10 years, but the latter 10 years. Huh? No, no. If you cannot live 10 years in more than 10, it has to be 10 years. When was the, for example, huh? continuous, 10 years. continuous 10 years. If you don't have, let's say, if you don't have one continuous, but you are living, let's say, in the same kind of area, like Europe, you can just write Europe because what I need is the, let me explain to you why I need what country have you lived in, is what is the approximate life expectancy of the country where you have lived in the last 10 years. Maybe I should ask like that. No. no. There is a saying, there are some countries that even have below uh, life expectancy ratio because of violence. Okay, so let's write like this. What country have you lived in the last 10 years? Yeah. Number two, what is the life expectancy of the country where you are living right now? Huh? That's next, yeah. They are different, 28. For example, if you have been living in, if you have been living, no answer yet, yeah. If you have been living in Belgium for the past 10 years, but you're not constantly there, but you move from Belgium to Germany or to England to France, it's still the same kind of country. You know, because the life expectancy in all those countries are still similar. Next point, 29. Are you, how, are you a meat, are you a red meat eater? No, red, red meat. How often do you eat red meat, red meat? High, low, medium. Next, next uh, point. How comfortable are you in life? So, are you wealthy enough to afford elect constant electricity? That's what I want to know. Housing, water, bed to sleep on, furniture, Education that you need, clean place to live in, clean food, and three square meal. So how that is what I mean by just one question: How comfortable are you? Okay. Revenue level. 
I already said how much do you make a week or a month? A month. But that is just the income. But this one is how in, how comfortable are you? Comfortable below or what do we call it? Com how comfortable are you? High? I mean, mid average. Average. High average. What do you say? Comfortable average. Huh? Okay, very com comfortable, very comfortable, not comfortable. Okay. I've, I, I made it, I broke it down. As no, You cannot break it down more than that. The whole idea is, can you afford constant water? You don't have to worry about it. Can you, or, you know, especially red, I mean, hot and cold. Can you afford constant electricity? You don't have to worry about it. Because those worries, they, keep, they, they contribute to lifespan. Are you, can you, are you comfortable... I mean, are you comfortable with means? Can you afford water, electricity, where to sleep, food to eat at any time? You don't have to work necessity of life. You don't have to worry about that. I don't know if you get me or not. Have you, what number are we now? Are you a risk taker? In terms of driving crazy, speed speed driving, surfing, uh, extreme sports, rock climbing, doing breath competition, all things like that. Risky lifestyle. Do you have risky lifestyle? Okay. Do you have risky lifestyle? Yeah. Next point, do you live near, do you live on the mountain? Do you live in a hilly, is it mountain, a hilly place or mountain? How would you consider that? Huh? You go near mountain, yeah. Is it mountainous place? No, no, mountain, where you have to walk and climb and... On a, on an elevated... Hilly place, mountainous or hilly place? Man, are you living in a mountainous place? Because the best air, the best oxygen is on the mountains. The best, yeah, the best oxygen and. No, mount, nature, nature. I'm talking about nature. Altitude, yes. High altitude people live long, yeah. Yes. No, no, no. We have already. Next point. Do you live in a green? Are you living near nature? No, near what do you call? Huh? Green, like here now. How do you call it? Are you, yeah, how, uh, green, green. I want to talk about green. Are you living near trees, green environment, close to nature? Or not, or you live in town. Rural. But this is not so rural. But where I see, I mean, anyway, you understand nature. Are you yeah, living? Yeah. Not vegetation, trees. Tree yeah, trees is what we are talking about. Next point. Do you live near uh, uh, the sea? Is, sea, uh, is it sea or water or what? Sea. By the seaside. Seaside. Sea seaside. Or coast, yeah. Uh -huh. Or coast. What number was that? 35. The next one is 35. Where did you, my wife miss it? Okay, okay. Next point, are you struggling with a medical condition that you are not 
that you, in which you are not under medical supervision. So is, is there something you are suffering from that you have not reported to the, you are not reporting to the doctors? Are you, are you having a medical situation that is not under, under treatment? Under, huh? No, no, it doesn't have to be deadly. But you are not under supervision, medical supervision. Yes, unsupervised medical condition. Yes. Next point. Is there anything that is putting pressure on you, that is worrying you and troubling you constantly? Is there any problem troubling you all the time? Something bothering you? It could be social, it could be family pressure, it could be social, it could be political, it could be economic. Next, next one. Uh, 37. How satisfied are you with life and with yourself? How satisfied and happy are you with your life and with yourself? Yes. Huh? Oh. No, no. How comfortable are you is, is economic. How comfortable is economic. But how happy are you and satisfied is more, yeah. Social. Social. Internal. Yeah. Personal life. Huh? Ha I mean, very satisfied. Yeah? Very happy, not happy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Fulfilled. Are you, fu are you feeling fulfilled in life? Yeah. Fulfilled, unfulfilled. In between. <laughs> Next one. How many liters of water do you drink in a day? The minimum is two liters. Oh, no, one and a half liters minimum that you have to have. So do you drink less or more? L-I-T-R-E. Or if you want to say cup, do you drink up to six cups of water? Glass, glass. Not like my own, or my own is too big. But the glass, no more glass. Do you drink six? Six, you need to drink six in a day. Only water or? Water, pure water. Yeah. Tea is not the, what we're asking right now. So how many do we have? 39? 38. We have 38 now. Okay. Now we have to start the mark, how to answer, how to. We have to start the practical aspect of it. I don't have the questions I gave you. All the questions I gave you, I don't have them. So somebody needs to send that to me. Who can send that? Oh, you will send it to me. Okay. On Skype, on email? Skype. Okay, because after the. Should I just give you the criteria for the answers or I should give you the answer for you to answer right now? Or you just you will just get the criteria. Okay. One to five, yes. Do you want to use one to five or we should use hundred? Because hundred could be life lifespan should be Let's say. No, no, no. I didn't say 120. I said it's in the Bible between 70 to 80. Yeah. I didn't just say. <laughs> okay, how should we? You know, I, 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 I used to have. Uh, you know, I'm doing Im impromptu. What I'm doing right now is with you impromptu. But I have done. I had done an ex. Uh, and the experiment, my, you know, whereby I could tell you if you score this amount. 
you are going to leave this amount. If you have scored this amount, but I cannot do that now because it's impromptu. But you might need to do that yourself. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, let's, maybe we'll use one to five for every answer. That if you, the, the bad one is zero, to, no, maybe not one to five, zero to five. Right? The bad one is zero. So if we are talking about how many, uh, 38? If, if we are talking about 38 questions, should we use three or we should use five? One to three? Yes, should we use three? Let's use three. So if you get, for example, uh, let's, if it is three we are using, then you have to, let's multiply three by 38. Is it 38 we have? Yeah. Let's multiply three. Three, three, three times 30, 38 times three with me, what? Hundred and forty. That would be the highest. So if anybody is close, close to that one hundred and forty, fourteen or oh, one hundred and fourteen, that means you are okay. You are going to live you no know, maximum life, right? I'm just giving you the parameter right now. So then let's multiply thirty-eight times two. Seventy-six. So if you score between seventy-six to hundred and fourteen. It means you are going to live probably a lifestyle between 70, 70, 70, 80, if you know, it depends on where you are. If you are closer to 76, then you are going to be 70 and above. But if you are closer to 114, then you are going to be from 80 and above. You are going to live that long. But if you now score... Uh, 38 times 1 will be how much? 38. If, if you now score closer to 38, like 50 to 38 or closer there, it means you are in a danger risk, very dangerous. You, you know, you are going to live, you know, maybe less than 70 years old. Then if you score 0 to 38, you know, you, know, you cannot score zero, 0, but anything near 38 or below will mean that uh, you are in danger. Huh? The lowest will be 38. Yeah. Right. Ah. No, zero. Zero must be there too. That's four. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Yes. Zero is the least. It's lower than one. Yeah. So, yeah, 70, we are talking about if you score high, it means your lifespan will be from 80. If you are closer to 114, it will be from 80 years old and above. But if, it's, if it is, uh, let's say, less than uh, 100, less than 100 and closer to 70 something, then that, I mean, that might be, you know, Let's say 100. That might be 70 and above. You might live. That's your age. But, and then it goes down like that. You still don't get it? Okay. Let's get just the range first for the score. The range is zero for the, for the, if you fail. If the mark is bad mark, zero. If it's not so bad, it's one. If it's better, if it's average, it's two. And if, I mean, not average. If it is good, it's two. If it is excellent, it's three. So we're using three. So zero to three. Then the group of the score, if you score between zero and this number, you need to... Yes. Know, yes, that's, that is what we're trying to do. Or should we, should we rather give, you no, know, begin to mark it, or we should just range it ahead? Normally, you range it at the end. Should we range it ahead in the first beginning? Yeah, well, can, okay. What it means that the first range, let's start with the highest again. The highest will be 38 times 3. 
which is 114. That is the highest. The second to that is 38 times 2, which is 70, 76. The third will be 38 th times 1, which is 38. Then 38 times 0, you have 0. So you are going to have below 38. Some people are going to have below 38. That's the range. Four options. Four options. Even if it is having two, even if it is having two, you no know, one. You just give no the one of sex, for example. Uh, what sex are you? No, that's just identifying you. That is, uh, yeah. No, that no, it's marked also. It's marked because I'm going to I'm going to give only two some variations there. For example, the the sex one, I'm going to give for men. For if you are a, if you are a woman, we are going to give you maximum mark three, because women have longer possibility of being alive. But if you are a man, we are going to give you two. So that one is sure banker. But you are still going to count that too. It means that you are naturally disadvantaged if you are a man. Yes. <laughs> so it's not going to be three answers or four answers, it's just going to be two. So the next question, if it is going to be race, what mark are you going to get if you are race? Race is this if you are a white person, you are going to have three. If you are a European, you are going to have three, or American, white person, three. If you are Caucasian, it's three. If you are going to be, we only have two people here. But if you are going to be Asian, you are going to be, or not Caucasian, but not black, you are going to be two. But if you are African, you are going to be one. Yes. If you are African who live in Europe, you are counted as European. A Caucasian who lives in Africa is counted to be in the middle. I'm going to go through all of them now. Let's go one by one. Okay, the okay, the European that lives in Europe, if you are born in Europe, you are classified as European. I only answer that question for Libya. But if you are a European, an African that lives in Europe, you are still classified as an African. But if you have lived in Europe all your life, or most of your life, you are classified as European. I don't know if you get it. Okay. Huh? No, let's start then from the beginning. Let's go, let me just go through the list. And somebody has to be reading. Who has the microphone? Somebody has to be reading out to me. Someone has to read out to me the questions. Someone needs to read out to me the question, and then I will be telling you the criteria, the marks. Okay. Should I start? Huh? Uh, Any yes? Oh, good. Okay, let's show it on the screen. Uh, uh, no, no, don't worry. You read it. Don't worry. They will, they will show it on the screen later. What's number one? You just mentioned the number and the question. Okay. Number one. <coughs> Number one, what is your sex? Number one test. Number one test, what is your sex? Okay, have I answered that one? Yeah. For men, men get two. It, it automatically. If you are a man, you are two. If you are a woman, you are three. Which means that the variability of death for the men is higher than the woman. The woman has the possibility of living longer than the man. Next point. Number, number two test, what is your race? race? I've already answered that. If you are a black, uh, uh, an African person who, let me explain to you the African one. If you are an African person who lives in Africa, your mark is one. 
But if you are an African that has lived most of his life in Europe, your mark is two. If you live a lot of part of your Af uh, life in Africa, but you moved to Europe for more than 10 years, you, your own is two. But if you're African, you are born in Europe, or you have lived in Europe major most of your life, then you are clarified as three. Next point. Number three test. What is your age? What is your age? If you are below 30, your answer is three. If you are between 30 to 50, you will carry yourself like that. You know the uh, you don't control that body. If it's between thirty and fifty, your mark is two. Huh? So it means that your your possibility of death is high, higher than the person who is younger. Sister Tony, why are you? <laughs> Sister Tony, you are behave, you are looking at me as if I'm conspiring against you. <laughs> Number three, if you are above fifty, you have one. That's the category I belong in. You've got to face reality. Wait. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If you, if your weight has to be in line with the height, yeah. Yeah. is the height also there too? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The way I'm going to answer this is this: Is your weight? Are you overweight in comparison to your height? Let's say your height is one meter sixty. Then you should be targeting sixty kilograms. If your height is one meter seventy two, you should be targeting seventy kilograms. If yeah, it, yes. If your it does it. If your height is ninety, one point nine, you know, one meter ninety, you should be targeting ninety. But if it's less, it's not as the, it's not as bad. But if it is more, is where the problem is always is. I don't know if people are getting it. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, but, but now it's the difference. The mark. Which number do you choose between the two things? The mark you have to make is this. If you are overweight by 10 kilograms, you are still okay. So if you are overweight by 10 kilograms, you will be two. If you are right in line or under, you, are, you don't overweight or something, but you are right in line or under of your height, it is three. But if you are overweight for... 20, uh, 20, kilo, 20 to 25 kilo, between 10 to 20, or between 10 to 25 kilo, kilograms, then you are one. But if you are overweight from 25 kilograms above the norm, then you are zero. <laughs> what about underweight? Underweight? We are not questioning underweight. Yeah? Said, uh, yes, apa. Uh, yeah. uh, I've already mentioned it. Who wrote it down? The not that I wrote. I 
Yeah, did you write? Yeah. Tell us what you wrote. Overweight by 10 kg will be 2. If you're in line or underweight, under of your height, yes. that's what you said. Less three. than your height. Yeah, 3. Overweight by 10 to 25 kg, you are 1. If you're overweight by 25 kg or above the norm, then it is 0. 0, yeah. Okay, please, my wife, go ahead and write, be writing the answers, to, I mean, the question, the parameters too, so that, because we are going to put it into a formula, so that we can use it everywhere in Africa and everywhere too. So, next point is what? What number? Five. Yes. Five. You, you see, we are doing this impromptu, you know, I didn't find my notes, so I'm just trying to reconnect everything. So, what's the number? number five is five. My, five. Microphone. Number five, height. No, no, that all that all that these it's two of them will carry one mark. One. Okay, okay. But then yeah. Does it calculate your count if you had thirty-eight uh, questions and if you now put them together then we have thirty-seven? No, you just put the same mark. You put the same mark. Yeah, put the same mark. Okay. Uh number six, education. Education. Okay. Why is education important? For those who live, for those, scientifically it has been proven that those who have higher education from master's degree and above, they take better care, they are more aware of their health. So if you have master's degree and above, I would like to give you three here. They live longer. If you have high school to BA, we'll give you two. From high school to BA. If you have less than High school will give you one. If you are stuck illiterate, we'll give you zero. Next point. Next point, marital status. Marital status. Yeah, for here it has to be men and women different. Men and women different. Unfortunately, what is supposed to be is this. The people who are not married and are single, women, they are the ones who live longer. <laughs> so those ones will be three. for women now. Women, okay. women. <laughs> this is what the scientists that found it out are the Europeans. Yeah. But for men who are not married is deadly. It is who are not married and are single above 50 it is one who've never been married. Marry or in a relationship? No. <laughs> this is going to be to, going to be future or if you are planning to be, you can still put marriage for yourself. But for those who are married, it's two. For those who are married, yeah, both. No, I'm just talking about the men. Yes, yes. Uh, but the married people, men and female, is too. It's not as good as if you are single. 
But I was told that in Africa, for people uh, who are not married in Africa, that they rather die earlier. That is in Nigeria. I don't think so. It's in Nigeria. Nigeria, eh? <laughs> oh, God, God, God. <laughs> But the international tendency, I mean, the, uh, the science says you live longer. Okay, next point. Next, uh, number eight, employment status. Employment status. This doesn't matter if you are men or women. People who have something doing, it might not be employment, but if you are having something doing and you are satisfied with it, Either it's giving you a good job or good occupation. You are just happy where you are. That is regarded as three. But if you are working, but it is Uncle Sam, you know that it is not what you are supposed to be doing, but you are forced to do it because you are trying to make a living. Occupation. That is uh, one. Yeah. But the ones, <laughs> but number three is you are, you are having a job or having something that you are doing, you are just okay. You are not happy, you are not satisfied, you are just okay. That is, not two, that is two. Please write, write the answers, I mean write the description so you are being distracted. Because we need to be writing, it is not the answer that matters. Answer matters for you. But I need somebody to be writing the criteria. It is the criteria that will make us to be able to apply it anywhere we find ourselves in the future. Anybody writing the criteria? The criteria, sorry, not the criteria. Huh? I think, huh? Is it no zero? Yeah, have, have I not addressed that? Okay, the people who are not having a job, who are not having anything to do, and they are frustrated, those are zero. Unemployed, don't have anything to do, you are not happy, you are frustrated, that's zero. Next point is what? Number nine, mon monthly income. If your monthly income is less than $2 a day, that is regarded as zero. Then, if your income is up to ten dollars, ten dollars a day, that's three hundred dollars a month. Then it is one, one. Yeah, just, 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 this is general right general. now. Yeah. So, if you are $300 is one a month. That is less than $10 or $10 or less a, a month, a day, a day. Then, you are, no, you are two, if you have $100, you can afford to spend and live on $100 a day. That is two. Then, if you are can kind of live on over hundred dollars a day, it's up to anyhow, that is three. Now, when we talk about hundred dollars a day, we mean house, you know, com comfort, not cash, money, cash. But anything, if you want to count, convert to cash, anything that you are having access to in a day, that is what we are talking about. The okay, next point. Next point number ten. Number of exercise. Is it, is it how like, often? How, how frequently do you do exercise, exercise in yeah. a week? Exercise in a week. Yeah. If you don't do exercise in a week at all, and you don't live any active lifestyle, you are not walking fast or standing or moving about. You just sitting and you know lying down and. You know, like those old people do at home. Mm. That is zero. 
But if you are not doing exercise, but you are having a, an active lifestyle, you are walking, you are doing things, that is one. But if you are walking out twice or thrice a week, that is two. But if you walk out more than three times a week, that is three. Next one. Number 11. Do you have any hereditary disease or sickness? Oh, that's a big one. Do you know if there is any history? If you know that, like for example, my own grandmother died of cancer. So it means I have history of cancer in my family. So that's high risk right there. That is one. One. If you have history... Is one, especially somebody who is directly related to you. But if it is uncle, cousin, then it's two. Diabetic is included. I mean, diabetic will become later. Yeah, but diabetic, it means, it, that also means hereditary, yeah. But if you don't have any of those that you can remember, then that is three. Are you okay? Okay, next point. Next point, 12. Are you diabetic? Are you yourself diabetic? If you are diabetic, that is... Uh, if you are diabetic and you are not under medical supervision and you are not taking medication... That is zero. But if you are diabetic, but you are under medication and you are, you know, taking your medication, everything, that is, uh, that is one. Number two, I mean, you get two if you are diabetic, but your, di the, the, your, your the diabetes is secondary. Then you are two. If, and you, I mean, secondary, but you are still under medication, under good medication. That is two. But if you are not diabetic at all, that is three. This thing, you are getting small serious these days, so. I mean, this minute, these shoes, make seconds, or minutes. <laughs> Everybody is getting quiet. Next point. Next point. Do you drink or smoke? If you drink or smoke right now, then uh, it depends on how bad. If you really drink and smoke bad, I think we don't have that problem, but I will still give the variabilities. If you drink a lot or smoke a lot, that's zero. If you drink, more, if you take, uh, ev drink heavily and smoke heavily, that is uh, zero. If you do it occasionally, that is uh, one. If you are exposed to it, but you don't, that is two. But if you don't smoke, you don't drink, three. You're living with somebody, for example, who smokes. And you are constantly in inhaling it. Or you are working in a place where they are constantly smoking. Okay, next point. Next point, 14. Have you ever smoked cigarette before? If yes, how for how long? No, no, we are going to remove that. It's the same. We, I mean, ah, that is, oh, sorry, sorry. That is before. Yeah. Ah, no, we still need it. We still need it. It depends. It's the same thing, the same kind of answers. If you had been smoking a lot before, that is one. 
But if you have cute, I mean, you, you don't smoke. All of them, in this case, you don't smoke again. again yeah. But if you just smoked a little bit before, okay. it's two. If you have never tried it, it's three. Here, there is no zero. Next point. Yes. 15. Are you frequently exposed to smoking? Yeah, we already answered that. But here, yeah, you say how frequent. So if you are frequently inhaling, you are in an environment of smoking. That is, uh, uh, that is every week. That is one. Maybe twice a week, one, one two, two times a week, but constantly every week you are inhaling it. That's one. If you are only exposed to it maybe once a month, once in a while, but constantly once in a month, and you are inhaling it, good. That is two. But if you maybe inhale it secondarily through people and maybe once in, a, in six months or once in a year, that's three. Because the doctors just told me now, and you heard it, that those people, the secondary, being exposed to it like that could even be more dangerous sometimes. Okay, next point. Next point. What is your sugar intake? Oh, that is where some of us are struggling. <laughs> well, if you take a lot of sugar, and that sugar might be, not real sugar itself. Oh, Processed sugar. No, no, it doesn't have to be sugar. Okay. It could be chocolate, it could be can candies, it could be any sweet, any sugary thing. If you take a lot of it, that means one. But if you take sugar only occasionally, no, or constantly, but not heavy. You are not, you don't abuse it. You don't, you know, you just, you, you are not a lover of sugary things. Then that is two. But if you have a low intake of sugar, low, very low, you still need it, but you, don't, you have low, not too much. That is three. What number are we on now? Seven, number 17. 17. Pakaji, what is the Ludi? Okay, number 17. Yes. What number now? Number 17. Number 17. What was the question? What is your salad or vegetable intake? High, medium, or low? Yeah, what is your salad or green intake? High, medium, or low? What is your intake of salad and grain, vegetable? If it is I, intake is three. If it is seldom, that is rarely. Eh? That is one. If it is medium, that is two. If you don't even take it at all, that is zero. Wahala don't break, eh? <laughs> Everybody is silent. Wahala don't break with this dead something, you know. <laughs> well, it's forcing you to face reality. So it, it, is, it is not a wasted effort. Question, never delays. Maybe it could actually, because this is a mathematical something, we can use it now. Every, we can use it to... We can even do seminars. Be conducting seminars. Huh? We could be doing seminars to enlighten people and make them feel it and face their death. The reality of their death. 
Okay, so what's the next question? Number 18. Number 18 is what? How often do you eat fast food? How often do you eat fast food? If you eat fast food every week, <laughs> that is one. If you eat fast food once in a while, every three months, that is two. If you eat fast food every day, that is zero. If you don't get to eat fast food more than once a year, that's three. It's what, what, what? Nobody does that in Europe, but in Africa, in other places, people don't eat fast food. Huh? No, no. Fast food is McDonald's, uh, KFC, pizza, and things like that. Next point. Number 19. What is your intake of carbohydrate, high, medium, or low? Carbohydrate. What is your intake of carbohydrates? Stash. Stashy food. If it is daily, you take one in a day, <laughs> that is one. If it's just weekly or two, not more than three times, uh, if it is not more than If it is daily, if it is weekly, but let's say, ah, what did I say? If you know, if you take, if you take uh, ox, no, eat three times a, I mean, more than once a day, that is when it is one. More than once a day. Yeah, daily, but not just once a day, but. You could have taken some stash either as afternoon break, uh, or breakfast or lunch or dinner. That is where the problem, that's when you are one. Once, oh, more than one time a day. But if you take it daily, but not, but, uh, what do I say? If you take it daily, but not more than in a week, you take it uh, not more than once. How do I say this? You are one. You are every day eating it. But I wanted to say, if you are taking it, you take carbohydrate, but not more than five times in a week. Five times in a week. Then you are two. Five times in a week. It doesn't matter in what form. But not more than five times in a week, then you are okay. You are two. But if you take carbohydrate less than five times in a day, in a week, sorry. Less than five times in a week, three. But if you take carbohydrate more than two, th I mean more than, if you take it uh, two times in a day. No, no. If you take carbohydrate two times and above in a day, then it's zero. Two times in a day, more than two times in a day, then it's zero. Niger. My own is Eba in the morning, Gary in the afternoon, Eba in the evening. Hallelujah. <laughs> that is how I grew up. That is carbohydrate in the morning is called Eba because you cooked it. The one in the afternoon, it is also carbohydrate, we call Gary. That's not cooked, just with hot, cold water. The difference is that the one in the box is cooked. <laughs> cooked, but the same thing. 
that is not cooked in the afternoon is different. Is gary? Then the one that in the evening will be cooked again it's with soup. <laughs> They will be telling you you believe long life, but that's when you are zero. Wait, that's three, four. That is zero. No, three. We already mentioned that. Okay, next point. Num number twenty. What is your intake of coffee? Uh, I don't know how to mention that, but it's just high, low, medium. I'm talking about black coffee. Black coffee here. I'm not talking about coffee with milk. Milk. I'm not talking about light. I'm not talking about latte or mocha. No, no. That's not coffee. I'm talking about black coffee, real coffee. Most Africans don't drink that, right? Nigerians don't drink it. Nigerians are not coffee people, yeah. But if you don't drink coffee, or you just drink, okay, only coffee with milk and sweet, that is three. It means you don't drink coffee, it's three. We drink daily with milk. Daily. Ah, but if you are drinking it daily, that is two. Even if it is with milk. Yeah, but if you don't drink it at all, it's three. If you drink it with milk, it's two. But if you drink it black coffee, black coffee is one. But if you drink black coffee every day, and even more than every day, or once, more than once a day, is zero. <laughs> Next point. <laughs> Number 21. What do you often do in your spare time? What do you often do in your spare time is important because if you, what you are doing in your lifetime, I mean spare time is something that is making you happy, something okay, that, work, okay, take a walk. Yes. Yes, active. Are you living an active lifestyle? I'm still going together. But if what you are doing in your spare time is Something that's making you happy and and fun and you know just merry and uh, you are you know it means you are living you are you are you know uh, or you are all we are going to do sports <laughs> or you are going to do sports and work out in your spare time that is three so to, those two category if what you are doing in your spare time is something that's getting you happy, getting you joy, motivated, or you are just going to work out, that is three. But if what you are doing in your free time is just sitting down most of the time, that is not good for you. That is one. But if you, are just, if you lie down, or walk around, not, sport, not doing sport, but live an active lifestyle. That is two. But if your free time, you are going to drink, or you are going to, you know, huh? party and get drunk and do all that things, and you are going to put yourself in danger, that is zero. This talk by eh, with these your questions. You are helping me, so you are helping people. Because the first question he asked, he helped a lot of people, and now you are helping a lot of people also. Number, Number what? 22. How many hours sleep do you take in a day? Well, if you are taking, if you are a woman, if you are a woman and you are sleeping every day, between seven and nine hours, then it's three. If you are a man, you are sleeping every day between eight, between six to eight hours, that is three. But if you are sleeping, either you are a man or woman, less than five hours a day, that is two. But if you are not sleeping, if you are having sleeping problems, if you are sleeping just two, three hours a day, 
That is one. But if you have insomnia for a long period of time, you are not sleeping, you cannot sleep, that is one, zero. <laughs> are you people so we that get anything? This is we are deciding how long will you live on earth and when will you die. So the issue we are discussing is how long will you live? Have you changed the title? In V okay. Next question. Twenty three. How often do you get angry, upset, or grudges? Usually wearing so how often do you get upset? Or do you keep malice? Or do you get angry, upset? How often do you keep malice, get upset or angry? It, 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 what do we say? Ups, usually? If you usually do that, that is... If you are somebody that is getting irritated, offended, and angry every day, somebody, something upsets you every day. That is one. Not, not that necessarily every day. At least in a day, you get bad mood. But you get offended at least once a day. I will get to zero. If you get offended at least once a day, that is zero. That is one. If you, if you manage your, emotion, your temper very well and you could get offended or angry, but maybe a few times a week, that is two. But if you don't experience that, if you don't experience temper issue or unforgiveness issue for at least three months, you are, then that is three then that is three. Three months and above. That is three. But if you live in unforgiveness, there are people in your life or in malice, there are people in your life that you are constantly angry with or you keep malice against or you cannot forgive, that is zero. That is what it means you will die quickly. <laughs> Those people will kill you fast. <laughs> it could be different people, but if that happens to you on a constant basis, that is zero. Then they kick then go kill you, then go kill you. You go die, or what are you? What was that are you saying? You go die, you. If you are thinking about it, if you remember, you think about the person, you think about it, it bothers you, yeah, that's malice. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls are getting at one another because that is, <laughs> because that is malice. You want to put all them off each other, off of their lives. <laughs> you go kill one another. <laughs> You go die quick, oh! <laughs> <laughs> next one, next one. Oh. You have a question? Yeah, no, what question? Doesn't, doesn't matter how you deal with it. Like What's the question? It doesn't matter how how you deal. No, it doesn't matter how you deal with it. it yeah. Matter. Next point. <laughs> <laughs> My wife said you are still going the same route with them. <laughs> Uh, are you sickly? How often do you get sick? This is not just cold or something, but something that will make you to lie down. Now, for women, this is not including, I don't want to use language so that I will not come and apologize tomorrow again. <laughs> this is not including your monthly whatever, yeah, business. But... <laughs> But this is sickness, you know. Yeah, so how often do you get sick? If you are really getting sick all the time, uh, it depends on how bad. If you, if you get sick only once a month, 
Once a month you get sick. That is one. That is one. If you get sick once a month, that is one. If you get sick more frequently than once a month, that is zero. More than once a month. Yes. If you feel sick every week or every two weeks, that is zero. If you, you know, get sick or feel sick not more than once a month, that is one. If you uh, don't feel sick for three to six months at a go, that is two. Uh, I'm not going to make a difference here. But number three, you get three points if you don't feel sick that you need to attend to more than once in a year, then that is three. Next point. 25. Do you take narcotics? <laughs> I don't think we have that issue here, right? If you don't take... This includes abuse of drugs, though. If you are prescription drugs or narcotics, things like that, or we, we, weed, weed, yeah, these all include that. <laughs> How can they call it Ghana? Agbana. <laughs> Oh, very bad. So, I don't think you will have issues with that, but if you take any of those and you take it heavily and at like every once a week you must take that, then uh, that is one. But if you must take it once a day, that is zero. If you have to take it once in three months, that is one to three months, one to six months, between three to six months, that is two. If you don't use drug, if you don't, you are not, you don't use the drugs at all. That is three. <laughs> Can you repeat the answer? Somebody wants the answer to be repeated. Can you repeat the answer? If you take it uh, once a week, that's one. If you must take it once a day. That's zero. If you must take it once, three to six months, between three to six months, that's two. If you don't take it at all, that's three. Yeah. Next point, next question. Next question, 26. Are you presently depressed? Are you, con de uh, yeah. Are you presently depressed? Or do you constantly fight depression? Do you constantly fight depression? Is it an ongoing battle with depression? Not that you had it once a while, once in a while, in a lifetime, no. So if you are constantly fighting depression, that is zero. Constantly fighting. But if you are having it presently, and you, it comes and goes, that is one. If you don't have depression maybe once in a lifetime or twice in a lifetime that is uh, two but if you've never had issues with depression that is three I'm so happy that I, I you know I'm forced to go back to this because I'd worked on it about 10 years ago and I Nobody, nobody wants to talk about death, so I just, <laughs> I just, I didn't even know where I put it again. But thank God we are doing it now. I think it's necessary that we are doing it. Okay, next point. What countries have you lived in? That's what number? 27. What countries have you lived in most of your life that in the last 10 years? In the last 10 years. What countries, have, what country, not countries, what country, country. what country? 
country. One, one, one country. What country? So you remember you said if the person like. Uh, yeah, but country, country. country. Okay. So if we are talking about if you have lived in a European country for the past 10 years of your life, is this where I was saying if you are born European? No, this, this is different. Huh? Okay. If you have lived in, the, in Europe for the past 10 years of your life, or America, huh? or Australia, developed country. I'm talking about developed country. If you have lived in, yeah, you can walk around. If you have lived in developed countries of developed con one of the developed countries, the last ten years of your life, then that is uh, two. Yeah. But if you are born in this country, in in European country, and you are living the lifestyle of a typical European person, you do sports, you eat European food. That is when it's three. Because you could be you could be a Nigerian that is living in London. Aha. 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 I know how that word is. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't know it's Roman food at all. It is still that same in your Anabala Eba. <laughs> and meat, meat, meat. Red cow meat, red meat. <laughs> Even though they are living in Europe. But if you are living in a third world country, Nigeria or other places, I don't know if South Africa is third world or not. <laughs> if you are living in third world country, <laughs> if you are living in third world country, then uh, it is one. But if you are living in a third world country where you are not exposed to nutrition, act, you know, sports, then it's zero. <laughs> you think it's discrimination, eh? That's what he said the other time. Is it discrimination? Yeah, somehow, eh? You're calling the shot now, so. Well, it's not discrimination. It's not because it's discrimination. It, it's just reality. It's not a good reality, but that's why we have success. He wants to go and change that. <laughs> he wants to change that reality. So, But the reality we have right now, it might look like discrimination. And people in Africa might be thinking they are being discriminated against. But nobody planned it. It is just what is the fact right now. So, where, what marks? How many marks have I given? I've given for zero. I've given. Have I given for one? Okay, I've given for two. Okay, we're giving for all. Okay, next one. Twenty-eight. You say, what is the life expectancy of a country you have been living in the last ten years? Yes. What is the life uh, life expectancy? in the country you have been living in the past 10 years. Let's say you have been living in Germany and the life expectancy of Germans are 70 or 75. And uh, that influence and that will affect your own life expectancy too. So uh, let's say you are born in Germany or not Germany, let's say Western developed countries. We are just going to use developed countries. So if you are living in developed country in the past 10 years, where their lifestyle, I mean their lifespan, or what they call it, life expectancy, is between 70 to 80, and in most developed countries, their life expectancy is between 70 to 80, minimum, then you uh, have stand a good chance. So you have to give yourself, if you are not, if you are not born there, you are just living there, you have to give yourself two. But if you are born there and you are living among these people with their lifestyle, eating their food, then it's three. But if you are living in Europe, 
you are eat you are you are eating your African food, and you are living in a country with life expectancy of 70, 80, but you are living among them, but you are eating your food that is two. Now one is when you are living in a developing country and the life expectancy is between 60, I mean, it's between uh, maybe 50 to 60, then it's one you have. But if you are living in a developing country where the life expectancy is between 50 and 60, and yet you are stressed up, then it's zero. You are stressed. Are you getting it, guys? It's not discrimination. It's not this, this is pure science right here. No discrimination. Next question. 29. Yes. How often do you eat red meat? Some of you can even tell how long your parents will live. You can use this criteria. I can use, I can tell anybody how long they are going to live. Just using this criteria. And you too, you'll be able to tell. You can tell how long your parents are going to live. You can tell how long your friends are going to live just by knowing their lifestyle. Let me ask. My father lived in Nigeria. Yes. On yes. So what influences that? What influences that? First of all, he might not have hereditary. He said his father lived in Nigeria to be 98. He might not have hereditary uh, disease. Number two, he might be living in rural area or in the village where there is a lot of grain, a lot of trees, a lot of oxygen. Number three, it might be living an active lifestyle, walking around the village or walking in the... So all that, we're actually going to include them. Yeah. Only the, the places where Africa are disadvantaged at this point. But when it comes to the point of grain, living in the something or mountain or water, or they are going to be getting plus I. I and he doesn't get worried, you see. I didn't know that, but yeah, you see. So, next point. 20, no, that, yeah, 29. How often do you eat red meat? How often do you re eat red meat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you are a meat lover, like barbecue lover, big one, <laughs> and you eat that barbecue constantly, every day, Every day you eat red meat. Your own is one. But if you eat red meat every day and you eat them in excess, then it's zero. But for you who eat red meat, but maybe once a week, not more than three times a week. Two time, one a week, two times a week, three times a week. Then uh, it is two. But if you eat red meat not more than once a week or once a month, between once a week to once a month, then it's three. So it means that in a month, you don't eat it more than four times. Yeah. Then it's three. But if you eat less, it's three also. The next point. Number 30. How comfortable are you in life? How comfortable are you? This is talking about uh, you don't have to struggle. Yeah. Can you afford the basic necessity of life? Is that the one? Yeah, the same, the same question. I yeah, can you afford the basic necessity of life, like of life, yeah. education, food, water, electricity? Yeah, that is a big one, yes. Um, in regards to meat. Yes, red meat. Yeah, so it doesn't include chicken or something. No, right? red, red, red. Chicken is white. No, no, it's not the same. I'm not talking of chicken. It's not red. Is it red? It's not red. Huh? Yeah, not fish, not chicken. 
Beef, beef, lamb, pork. Lamb. Yeah. Okay, next question. Uh, yeah, that's I, how comfortable are you in life? Are you can you afford the basic necessities of life? Now, if you live in a country where you are always worried and concerned about how to pay your school fees or your children's school fees, uh, out where to get electricity, water, you know, housing condition, stressed up, that is zero right there. That is zero right there. Yeah. <laughs> You might be living in Nigeria and you don't have to worry about those things. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's people like that. So if you are living in that country, in that kind of you know, environment, but you, you can afford it, you don't have to worry about it. The thing is about pressure, the stress that is causing. That is zero. But if you have those things, you don't have to worry about them, even though they might not always be there, but you don't have to worry about it. That is one. But if it is something you can afford easily, education, food, water, electricity, that is two. But if you never think about them, you never even think. That is three. You know there are people who never ever think about these things. They don't even have to. <laughs> three. Once two, you have, can afford them, but you still have to cons work for them, be concerned about them. You have to see work for them. Because there are people in Africa that they, might, they can afford it. But they are still, they can still, they can afford it, but they have to struggle, get it. That is true. But if you don't have to even think about it at all, that is what I mean. Next point. Next point. Are you a risk taker? Are you an adrenaline junkie? Yeah, do you like extremes? Are you a lover of extremes? Like speed, speed, racing, climb, mountain climbing, and, you know, things like that that are so risky. That is zero. If you are a lover of those do different risky ventures, that is zero. Extreme, yes. But if you are somebody that uh, is very careful, not not like to take risk. Three. But if you can occasionally, you occasionally, occasionally, you know, in some things, maybe just speed, take risk, that is two. But if you risk or you do the risky things, but once occasionally, once in a while, like every summer, some people go to, the, to do some extreme things or every holidays, vacation, then that is one. Next point. 32. Do you live in a hilly or mountainous place by, by nature. If you live, yes, if you live in the nature, but in the area that is hilly or mountainous, you have to, if, yeah, if you live on the mountain, or uh, mountainside, or uh, hillside, and there is, you know, it's high, there's a good oxygen there, that is three. I mean, that is two, sorry, that's two. But if you need to climb, and actually climb, and actually physically be active to do it, you know. You don't just live there by a car. You drive up there. But you need to climb. That is three. That is three. So if you need to climb in and out of a hilly place, that is three. But if you only live there, that is two. But if you don't live in a hilly place, you just live in a normal place, that is one. But if you live in town, in the middle of the town, you don't climb anywhere. You just go in the, live in the city. That is zero. It's big city. I'm talking about big, noisy city. Yes, that's zero. 
For two, you just live on the mount, on mountain area, mountain place. But you don't climb. You don't do a physical exercise with it. Next point. <laughs> That's the next point is uh, number. Number thirty-three. Okay. Are you living close to nature? Yeah, if you live around among grains in the forest or wood place. Water will come later, right? Seaside, we still have that later. Yeah. So if you live uh, around uh, close to trees, I mean trees, that is two. But if you live among trees and where there are trees and things, and you still walk out, you run in the trees, or you you know walk out in the tree, that is three. Then if you don't live around where there are green, green trees, nothing like that, you just live in normal town. That is, uh, that is, that is one. But if you live in noisy city, in the middle of the city, where there is a lot of noise, a lot of people, a lot of something like that is zero. That's like Lagos. Or should <laughs> Zero. Thirty-four. Do you live by the seaside? By the seaside is by the water. By the water side, seaside. If that is where you live, that is two. If you live there and you still walk out around this beach, around the you sea, and you walk out around there, that's three. But if you don't live around water, but you just live in normal city, cool, normal city is one. But if you live in the place where there is no, water, no river, no water around, you just live in a big city and isolated, that is zero. Number 35. Do you have a medical condition not supervised on or unreported? Sorry, what was the question? That's 35. Do you yeah. have a medical condition not supervised or un unreported? If you have a medical condition unsupervised and not reported, uh, it depends on what medical condition. So if it's a medical condition that is, uh, that is t terminal, that is, yeah, like cancer, or diabetes, and things like that, that is zero right there. But if you have medical condition that is just tro tro troubling you, but you didn't go to medical, you know, you, you know it's not something life-threatening, you think. You still got one. You still got one. But if it is a medical condition that comes once in a while only, and that's why you are not reporting and you are not on that monitor, that is two. That is two. But if you don't have any medical condition that you are, that is not under supervision, that is three. The 
You can't hear me? Are you getting it? But if you are having medical condition but under supervision, that is true. 